Hello everybody, today I want to talk about VKI extended runtime session a little bit. As you know, on Bochs, you actually can use runtime sessions to run your app. There is four main runtime sessions type. It's self-care, mindfulness, physical therapy and smart alarm. You can have only one such a session type per app. So, for example, if you are already uh, using self-care, you can not use additional types of sessions. As you see, two of them are frontmost. It means the, your, your application will be the frontmost application on the watch. And uh, there is a difference in time. Like the most, the longest one is mindfulness and physical therapy. For my application, I use physical therapy because it's background session and it has time one hour to execute. There, there is such called scheduled sessions. There is only one of them, it's smart alarm right now. You can schedule it within 36 hours Basically, it can be used to do a smart alarm application. I will show a simple implementation. I keep a new reference, new fireball reference to the runtime session here. Basically, when I want to start the session, I check if one already running or scheduled so I can skip this start session, like don't broke existing one. If there are no such sessions, I created one, set the delegate, and the delegate itself, this class, extended session service, and uh, I call session start. Assign current session, and save session state. So basically delegate is has three methods. It's like extend runtime session did invalidate with. So basically what I should do, I notify user that something go wrong by haptic and store the session state like none. Extended runtime sessions did start. It's called a little bit later than you call actual start method here. And only extend runtime session did start, you can like do your session stuff. For example, I start counting time. And one more delegate method, it's about expiration of runtime session. For this kind of session, I didn't do, I do nothing, basically. Because it handle, it handle here. Okay, so how I count in time and why I count in time here? First of all, we can see that we can like dispatch events here, like seconds to elapse to four minutes. Basically, I tried to call this block every this block every one minute and in alignment with a clock. So I calculate how much uh, seconds should be passed to the four minutes and I do uh, like create the deadline to the whole minutes. And then I play haptic by type. I calculate the type here based on the amount of minutes passed from the full hour. So the links will be in the description. Thank you for your time. Have a good day and have a good life.